taped live and in color in Skokie, Illinois, it's Steve Gatlin's Star Makers. The host of Steve Gatlin Star Makers, Steve Gatlin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Steve Gatlin Star Makers. I'm your host, Steve Gatlin. Tonight, we want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself while we introduce you to tomorrow's stars of Hollywood and or Broadway. Singing and guitar are two talents we really enjoy. So let's welcome our first act, Jimmy Innuendo performing singing and guitar. Go ahead, everybody. My name is Jimmy Innuendo. People used to call me the late blues man. Chiefly because I used to be light blue. Poor circulation. But I circulate much more now these days. And I, I sing the blues. And I'd like to sing to you now a song from the early 30s made by Josh White. It's going to give you the blues. A little man walked up and down To find an eating place in town He searched the menu through and through To see what his 15 cents could do One meatball One meatball He could afford one me wa 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 He told the waiter near at hand the simple dinner he had planned. The guests were startled, one and all, to hear that waiter loudly call, One me ha <laughs> One me this gent here, he wants one me Wa 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 wa. That little man felt ill at ease. He said, "Some bread, sir, if you please." The waiter's voice boomed down the hall. You get no bread with one me ball. That little man was very sad cause one meatball was all he had. And in his dreams he can hear that call. You get no bread with one meatball. One meatball. One meatball. You see, I told you this would bring you all down. Well, personally, I, I can't stand it. I'm not going to leave it as this. 
Now here's another verse. That little man came back that night. He started buying everything in sight. He hit the lottery, so he bought the place. He threw that waiter out on his face. One meatball. Ha 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 ha. One meatball. A happy ending. Jimmy, that was fantastic. Boy, thanks. I really appreciate your enthusiasm. Oh, of course. So tell me, how long does it take you to learn how to play a song like that on the guitar? Uh, as far as I know, I've always known how to play that song, to be honest with you. I uh, don't recall ever having to have, have learned that one. It just sort of came in. I think I saw it on uh, television when I was a small person. Tutan Baker was singing it. He was playing it on the piano. He used to come up with stuff like, I'm a lonely little petunia in, a, in an onion patch. You know, classics. Things people don't really know about anymore. That's one of them. Oh, that's great. I love it. Uh, it's about one meatball. Yeah. And uh, we sang a song in camp about a meatball. Yeah. So it's a different meatball song. But it's, I, I love spaghetti meatball related Music. Okay, when well, they segue, that's excellent. Yeah, I got one for you. This actually used to be called One Fishball, and it was originally done by a man who used to teach Latin at Harvard University. I'm not making any of this stuff up, folks. This is all true. And in fact, the Civil War soldier used to sing One Fishball. I wish I could remember the guy's name, but believe me, I'm telling you the truth. God's honest truth. Oh, we believe it. And thanks so much for being on Steve Gatlin's Star Makers, and we hope to see you again. Right, thanks, Steve. It's been a pleasure. It really has. Thanks so much. Okay, take care of yourself. We'll be right back. Don't get any on you, eh? Doing all sorts of dancing can make you a star of Hollywood and or Broadway. Here's our next act, Nico B, with a certain type of dancing, hop-hop dancing. So let's welcome hip-hop dancer, Nico B. Nico, fantastic. Thanks Thank so, much. so much. That was amazing. So how often, how many hours a day do you have to practice to learn moves like that? Well, you actually have to practice pretty often because I learned that if you don't practice, you will forget it. You'll be like this. <laughs> tired. No, I bet. That's so much to remember, uh, but fantastic. So what do you enjoy most about dancing? The energy. I just love, you know, 
expressing myself through dance, just showing my talent, <clears throat> and just showing people that if you try your hardest, you will be able to make it to the top. That's beautiful. So we definitely felt your joy in performing, and this was fantastic. Thanks so much for being on the show, Nico, and uh, we'll be back. We're happy to have a rapster performer on Steve Gadlin's Star Maker. Tonight, you're watching her on TV, but tomorrow, we may see her on Hollywood and or Broadway. Let's welcome singer and rapster Shaniqua with her original song, Hurt No More. This is for the brokenhearted, for the mistreated, broken, battered, and abused. This is for that person out there that's looking for the next best thing. This one's for you. She cries at night, pillow soaked, she bears it slow, all alone. If you listen to her close, even though she laugh and smile, you can hear her insides grow, cause she's fatherless, motherless. Let me not address the pain that she feels in the chest with the stress and the test and the pains of life. Thinking how on earth can I get anything right with this pain inside? Only thing on her mind right now is suicide. A living high, trying to drown the pain inside, trying to cover up something that she cannot hide. It gets so hard she cannot breathe, trying to find anything that'll bring her peace. Everything she do just brings more doubt. So in her bedroom, you hear her crying out. Oh. Awake at night, white walls, jail bars and all, thinking about that time that he had that's gone and how he sacrificed his life. Then on the scene, this man was on his grind. On the street, this man was one of a kind. But behind it all, you see the pain deep inside. Uncle, cousin, brother, daddy. Fight broke out, he was the last man standing. Baby, mama, grandma, daughter, no child support, and girl don't know her father. Get so hard, he cannot breathe. Wanna go back in time, but his time won't cease. Nothing he can do that can change his fate. Wishing he could be a dad, but he wished too late. I don't know why I'm stuck here. Is it somewhere, somewhere, somehow that could take away this pain? Oh, I don't want to hurt no more. Why am I dealing with this pain? Can you take it away? Oh. Shaniqua, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. So mm -hmm. tell me, Shaniqua, what is the, for you, the hardest part about rapping? It's fast. I was thinking <laughs> that watching it, she talks so fast, but you right there, that's amazing. Do, 
Do you have to practice that a lot? I actually have to practice a lot because I just started. I couldn't tell. That's fantastic. No, that was amazing. And then not only can you rap, but you can sing pretty well. That's amazing. Thank you. I'm a singer first, first and foremost. I've been singing since I was three, but the whole rapping thing just kind of came out. <laughs> well, I'd say amazing on both sides. So what makes you happiest about rapping and singing? Um, being able to be a part of the music. I feel like when you're rapping, you get to play with the rhythm a lot and you become an instrument in the song. That's great. Shaniqua, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to have you on the show and we'll be back with more. Everyone loves jokes because of one main reason. They make us laugh. <laughs> We're proud to welcome our very next act, a very funny stand-up comedian. Introducing Trevor Burke. Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Burke, an 11 year old stand up comedian. But you didn't expect me to come up here. Yeah, this place is so far from St. Charles, we were almost like getting here. Halfway here, I started playing with the GPS and decided to put hell as my destination. Wouldn't you know it took me right back to my house? <sighs> yeah, I noticed driving here there are no more border stores. Yeah, when the U.S. government says they're going to close the borders, I guess they mean it. Yeah, it's really actually hard being a kid. My teacher keeps telling me homework is easy. It's like taking candy from a baby. Has she really ever tried taking candy from a baby before? I have. It's not that easy. Give me that. Give me that. <sighs> yeah, how would she know anyway? Her eyes are crossed. She has no control over her pupils. Yeah, then my dad said last night he slept like a baby. Oh, yeah, what'd you do, wake up every two hours? I don't get it. Yeah, also on the last day of school, I learned about oxymorons. Didn't really know what an oxymoron was until my father bought a smartphone. Now I get it. I even had to program it. Then he drops it in the toilet. Now it sounds like crap. Yeah, I love my Xbox. I love gaming. Not old school like you people. Gaming has no effect on me. I mean, look at you guys. You play Pac-Man you're not running around in a dark room munching pills and listening to bad music. <sighs> and don't even get me started on Mario. I am convinced this guy's a bomb. I mean, seriously, he has the same clothes on every game, he lives in the sewer, and he collects coins for a living. Then he has the nerve to use his coins to buy mushrooms. Yep, real kid-friendly. Yeah, I fly in airplanes all the time. I hate when I have to sit next to the guy with the sombrero. Ah, I hate coach class. What's with all the announcements anyway? I mean, first of all, if there's a sudden loss in cam pressure and the ear masks drop from the ceiling, everyone needs to stop screaming. Put the mask on your child first. Your child first, everyone. Not like the Titanic. What if you have more than one child? Guess you have to find out which one's the favorite. Use the sea coaching's flotation device. Dude, do you have any idea how many people farted in that thing? The last thing I'm going to do is hold that close to my face. Sorry, I'll take my chances. <sighs> Southwest Airlines once also said If you leave anything in the overhead bin It will be shared with the flight attendants My father begged us to leave him He also said If we ever end up on a deserted island We eat my mother first When I asked him who would we eat next He told me we will worry about that when the time comes Huh Yeah I think my mother used to be a magician When I asked her how she met my dad She told me she was doing tricks Around the house, my my dad's name is Joe, but around the house, my mom keeps calling him John. Yeah, my dad wanted to be a magician. I know that. He wanted to saw people in half. He had the special box and everything, and he started practicing with my brother and sister. Now my dad has given up magic, and I'm stuck with a half-brother and a half-sister. I am so tired of getting beat up by the same bully at school. I keep telling everybody something has to be done about Brittany. <sighs> I went to bed last week trying to forget about it. But that damn memory foam mattress keeps reminding me. <sighs> Thank you, I'm Trevor Burke. Trevor, come on over here. That was wonderful. Thank you. So, Trevor, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. And why did you want to become a stand-up comedian? Well, basically, I... 
there was a talent show in third grade, and I wanted to do something in it. All my friends called me funny, so I just tried it. I mean, my dad used to be a stand-up comedian. He helped me here and there. And I just wanted to do something, so I made people laugh. That's wonderful. Trevor, what is your favorite part about doing stand-up comedy? Uh, just to go into a room, and at the end of the day, at the end of the end of my act, everyone's laughing and everyone loves me. Just that feeling, it's so good. Well, I'm sure watching at home, everybody's laughing and loving you. Trevor, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And we'll be right back. And now let's check in on Steve Gadlin's Star Makers Ensemble member, Erica Reed, with a delightful fantasy about something happening in outer space. Here are Energy and the Electrobots. This way, robots. This looks like a great place to hide out for a while. I know, robots. The Imperial Commander is going to be on the lookout for us. We'll have to make sure to avoid his storm bots. I know, robots. If we don't deliver this message to the Council, our entire rebellion will be squashed. Robots, what's wrong? Oh, no. Your power indicators are showing that you're dangerously low in electricity. We're going to need you at full power if, we've got to, if we're going to deliver this message. Don't worry, robots. I know just the place we can go. Electric Avenue! street there is violence and a lot of work to be done no place to hang all our washing and i can't blame all on the sun oh no we're gonna rock down to electric avenue and then we'll take it higher Hard like a soldier Can't afford a thing on TV Deep in my heart I am warrior Can't get food for them kid Good God, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue And then we'll take it higher Oh, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue And then we'll take it higher Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue And then we'll take it higher Oh, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue then we'll take it higher. Who is to blame in one country? Never can get to the one. Dealing in multiplication. And they still can't feed everyone. Oh, no. We're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue. And then we'll take it higher. Oh, we're gonna rock. In the streets, out in the streets, out in the daytime, out in the night. Oh, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. Oh, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. In the streets, out in the streets, out with my robot, out in the night. Oh, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. Oh, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. 
We thank you so much for joining us tonight on Steve Gadlin's Star Makers. I can't wait for you to see the stars you saw tonight on Hollywood and or Broadway tomorrow. They're already stars in my book. In fact, they are all stars. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Now she was looking kind of dumb With her finger and her thumb In the shape of an L on her forehead Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running Didn't make sense not to live for fun Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb So much to do, so much to see So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go Hey, you'll never shine if you don't glow Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. All of you tonight, you were rock stars, you got the show on, get paid. Only shooting stars break the mold. It's a cool place and they say it gets colder. You're bundled up now, but wait till you get older. But for the media men beg to differ, Judging by the hole in the satellite picture, the ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. My world's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it, and I'll never get bored. Everyone tonight on Steve Gadlin's Star Makers, you were all stars. Go play. Hey now, everyone, Nico, Shaniqua, Trevor, get the show on, get paid. Steve Gadlin, Star Makers, everyone on there, you break the mold. Thanks so much for coming to see the show, everyone, tonight. Thanks, Trevor. Uh, thanks, um, all of the acts that we had tonight. You were all hilarious and wonderful. Your, your talent shined through. And, and we're sure we'll see you again on Steve Gadlin's Star Makers. Good night to you.